step into the shadows of the entertainment world and uncover the enigmatic tale of Ralph David Carter. A figure shrouded in the mystique of talent and intrigue, Carter's journey from the dimly lit stages of Broadway to the flickering screens of television has mesmerized audiences for generations. Amidst the echoes of applause and the whispers of anticipation, Carter emerged as a beacon of artistry, his presence commanding attention like a spell woven by the gods of the stage. But behind the veil of fame lies a story waiting to be unveiled, a narrative steeped in the essence of passion and perseverance. Yet beyond the glitz and glamour, Carter's story is one of resilience and reinvention. His voice, a melody that echoed through the corridors of time, transcended the confines of the stage, leaving an indelible mark on the annals of music history. Join us now as we embark on a journey through the shadows and the spotlight, as we unravel the mysteries of Ralph David Carter's life and career. A tale of intrigue, passion, and the eternal quest for artistic expression awaits. Welcome to the enigmatic world of Ralph David Carter. Introduction. Ralph David Carter's rise to fame in the entertainment industry began with his early experiences on Broadway before he became a household name as Michael Evans on the iconic sitcom Good Times. Born on May 30th, 1961, Carter showed early promise as both an actor and singer. His breakout moment came when he appeared in the Broadway musical Raisin a Production, based on Lorraine Hansberry's acclaimed drama, A Raisin in the Sun. In Raisin, Carter's talent shone brightly, earning him recognition and critical acclaim. His portrayal of Travis Younger, a pivotal character in the story, showcased his versatility and stage presence. The success of Raisin not only marked a significant milestone in Carter's career, but also served as a springboard for his future endeavors in the entertainment industry. Following his impressive performance in Raisin, Carter caught the attention of television producers, leading to his casting as Michael Evans in the CBS sitcom Good Times portraying the youngest child of the Evans family. Carter brought warmth, humor, and authenticity to his role, endearing himself to audiences across the nation. His portrayal of Michael Evans remains one of the most memorable aspects of the show, solidifying his place in television history. Early acting career. Ralph Carter's journey into the dazzling world of Broadway began at a tender age of nine, when he stepped onto the stage in the musical The Me Nobody Knows. From that moment onward, he embarked on a whirlwind adventure through the realms of theater, each performance a stepping stone towards greatness. Following his debut, Carter's talent continued to blossom as he graced the stages and productions such as Tough to Get Help Dude and Via Galactica with each role, he honed his craft, captivating audiences with his raw emotion and undeniable charisma. However, it was his portrayal of Travis Younger in Raisin that truly catapulted Carter into the spotlight. This breakout role not only showcased his exceptional acting prowess, but also earned him widespread acclaim and recognition. His stellar performance garnered him the prestigious 1973 Drama Desk Award for Most Promising Performer, along with the 1974 Theatre World Award, solidifying his status as a rising star in the theatre world. Moreover, Carter's remarkable achievements did not go unnoticed by the Broadway community, as evidenced by his nomination for the coveted 1974 Tony Award for Best Featured Actor in a Musical. This accolade served as a testament to his exceptional talent and dedication to his craft, cementing his place among the brightest talents of his generation. Through perseverance, passion, and sheer talent, Ralph Carter Carter carved a path of success on Broadway, leaving an indelible mark on the world of theater. His journey serves as an inspiration to aspiring performers everywhere, a testament to the transformative power of art and the boundless possibilities that await those who dare to dream. Net Worth Ralph Carter's net worth of $1 million reflects his success and accomplishments throughout his career in the entertainment industry. As an actor, singer, and performer, Carter has undoubtedly earned a significant portion of his net worth through his work on Broadway, television, and music. However, 
It's important to note that net worth is not solely indicative of current wealth, but also factors in the individual's debts and financial obligations. Therefore, while a net worth of $1 million is certainly commendable, it's essential to consider the broader context of Carter's financial landscape. Personal life. Ralph Carter's romantic journey traversed the paths of two significant relationships. His first marriage bound him to Lisa Parks in the year 1987, a union that endured for approximately four years before they ultimately parted ways in 1992. Following the end of this chapter, Carter embarked on a new chapter of companionship, exchanging vows with River York in 1994, marking the dawn of a new partnership. In the realm of fatherhood, Ralph Carter's legacy extends to the nurturing of five children, each a testament to the depth of his familial bonds. Among them, two precious souls came into the world through his former marriage to Lisa Parks. One of his sons, Michael, entered the realm of existence on March 10, 1988, a date etched into the fabric of Carter's paternal journey. Through the complexities of relationships and the joys of parenthood, Ralph Carter's personal narrative intertwines with his professional endeavors, painting a portrait of a man whose life is rich with both triumphs and challenges, both on and off the stage. Good times. Norman Lear was enjoying huge success in the 1970s, with the hit television series All in the Family, Sanford and Son, and Maud. Lear developed Good Times as a spin-off series for Maud's housekeeper, Florida Evans portrayed by Esther Rawl and her husband Henry John Amos, who was renamed James. Because of Carter's success in Raisin, Lear bought out the remainder of his Broadway contract to cast him as the first original character of Good Times, James and Florida's youngest son, Michael. Other work. In 1975, Carter recorded an album called Young and in Love and performed the song When You're Young and in Love on Soul Train. That song, along with Extra Extra Read All About It, charted at No. 10 and No. 12 respectively. In 1985, he released a single called Get It Right. In 2005, Carter appeared in the cast of Ain't Supposed to Die a Natural Death for the Classical Theater of Harlem Company. Ralph Carter is best remembered for his early work both in the Broadway musical Raisin. Ralph was only a child when he landed his first role in the Broadway musical Raisin, based on Lorraine Hansberry's drama Aha! Raisin in the Sun. His work in Raisin turned out to be a true success as he got a Tony nomination for Best Supporting Actor. At the same time, he appeared in two Galt McDermott musicals, which were declared flops. His subsequent Broadway projects include Dude, for which he earned the Drama Desk Award for Most Promising Performer, and Via Galactica. He also enjoyed a career as a nightclub singer throughout the 80s. And that concludes our exploration of the life and legacy of Ralph David Carter. From his Tony-nominated Broadway performances to his chart-topping music, Carter's influence reaches far and wide. We hope you enjoyed this glimpse into the career of a true talent. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content celebrating the icons of entertainment. Until next time, take care and keep shining bright.